Hey everyone and welcome back to Leafy Lake Zoo, our franchise zoo. In today's video we are going to have no cuts, no speed builds whatsoever. This is going to be a pure gameplay episode where we are going to add the little blue penguin to this wonderful park and we are going to have a new plaza right over here next to our uh, kind of little maze situation which is going to house this with a very classical uh, roller coaster tycoon one piece that you have potentially already seen on the thumbnail but i haven't built that yet before we do so we have to do a little bit of inventory work and uh, check out what is going on in our park I haven't been in this park for months uh, because of all the franchise issues, corrupted files, you know, that stuff. There has been a lot going on with the franchise and this is why I haven't done any in this for security reasons. But let's check out. So we have high amounts of litter, specifically in this back area over here, okay. And multiple overflowing bins, okay. So that is basically over here. Can we just disable the uh, uh, heat map over here? Okay, let's just hit pause because I need to check a couple of things. I think we don't even have enough bins over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy some bins around this area. I'm still such a big fan of this area. This kind of Jaguar overpass is so cool. Or was it even Jaguar or Leopard? I forgot. Um, but look, there is like so little bins over here. And the more I look at it, I'm not even sure if we should put the penguins here or if we should put them here. Um, I, I guess we have to branch out here a little because that is just quite a long stretch already. But this side is not really done. Um, so I'm going to branch out to the left hand side here. We just do a bit of a forest in between. I'm not going to connect this right to the maze because that is too close. Um, but the rest will be neat. Um, then we also had an issue that some animals were dying. So we have to check out our animals too. Those were having a little issue too. So let's have a look at our welfare first of all. So common ostrich, what is your issue? Uh, social, stress for is not really great. So why, why is the stress level so, so bad? I think you, you, why are you running over here? What's the issue? Is it because of too many people around? I think, oh my God. Okay, so this is because of all the people on the bridge. Um, Okay, hold on. Let's quickly put a couple of uh, no stress signs on here. Uh, so let me just first of all get the blueprints off. And then it uh, should be in security down here. There you go. It's the no blah blah sign. There you go. Put that here. Um, and another one could also go here just to ensure that they are not going nuts over here. And also uh, in this entrance area, we should also put this down just for security reasons. Um, that is that. And then let's have a little looky look. What? Oops. That is uh, not nice. Welfare. So um, I guess this is all stress over here. All in the same habitat, right? The Oryx is also in here so they are all stressing out because of all the people i'm assuming yeah okay well there's not really that much to su to do um how about you guys so enrichment social this is the raccoon situation what is going on space why is space an issue i still believe this is because of a okay well do we have too many specimens in here why do you stress out over space do we have too many oh look at all the babies oh my god okay well okay 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 um Oh my god, we got a black one. When did we get that one? That is so cool. Okay, but we still have to get rid of them. We also have like a black baby. Ooh. Ooh, that is so cool. I think I've never seen them in game. Yee. They are so cute. Are you born over here? Or is this this is my stupidity? Uh Stubuk, head offspring, adulthood, born. Yeah. You're, you're built, you're born in here, built in here. <laughs> you're born in here. Uh, okay, but we can actually get rid of some animals in this one. So let's get, get this a look. So we've got those two. We've got only female um, beavers. So we need a male beaver. Okay, so Ava or Kiwana. Yeah, I'm going to check out who of you is better. But what we want to do is we're going to for the raccoon. Oh my god, look at that. This is outsider. Okay, yeah, overpopulation is anyways is, is bad. So Tanner is going, Merke is going, Zoe, you, actually Zoe is going to, this is a baby we can't keep. Benaim, I don't know who, like definitely those go already. Um, it's gonna release them to the wild. That is awesome. Um, but that should not be all. Let's go to the animals and have a look. So we need to go by species. Um, so look, this the peccary is also 
um, quite a good situation to, to change because we've got quite a bit too many peccaries. So I'm gonna get rid of Michaela. I'm gonna get rid of uh, those two. Actually, just one. Um, and yeah, you two. This is already elderly. Do I get... Uh, yeah, okay, I mean, we could, so my Eduardo is young, so we can also get them released to the wild. Gosh, you don't really get any credits for them, do you? Okay, never mind. Um, then we've got these. We can't really do too much about those. Look at how many camels we also have. Dromedary camel. Uh, we got Tiki. Tiki is already um, on contraceptions. Those babies. Female Rudy. Mm, Eloy. Chris. God, okay, Chris. Chris and Mike, I guess. No, Mike is gonna stay... Oh, that's a hard one. Um, yeah, no, Chris and Mike, you're gonna go. You're gonna go. Chris and Mike, have a good time in the nature. So, what else do we need to do? Gosh, we're not even building. We are just fixing things. Um, then look at that. I, Oh my god, so many of those still. Um, but they are like, okay, maturity-wise. I need to keep one L each. That That is enough. One raccoon each. So, we need to... Day. Look at all the babies we have. Okay, um, we're gonna keep. We're gonna keep. Uh, Binaim is gonna stay. Binaim is gonna stay. And they're all born in Leafy Lake. Do we have a female who's not born in Leafy Lake? Binaim and. Did I sell actually the, the one female that is not born? Because then we just have inbreeding and we don't want inbreeding. So, okay, we gotta get rid of all... Oh, that, that is that is a, actually... Yeah, well, whatever. Okay, we gotta get release them all to the wild. And then we need a male beaver and a female... Okay, let's get this done. And um, let's get a beaver. We need a male beaver. There is a male beaver over here. That one is good. That one is good. You can actually go right in here. And then we need a female. A reset all filters. And then we need a raccoon. A female raccoon. Female raccoon. Oh, you are lovely. Look at that. This is, this is perfection. You go in here. Sweet. And then we can also go back to our animals. And quickly get to the beavers. This is, looks all good to me. You are dead. You'll be... Okay, well, that is fine. You are pregnant. Okay. Where are the beavers? Am I blind? There you go. Ava... Uh, Daryl in Australia. He's going to be delivered. You are the Alpha. You are the uh, Kiwana. Um, they're basically both identical. Ava or Kiwana. I'm just going to take the better name. There you go. Uh, quick trade. Uh, I don't need the money. I just need the conservation credits. Where are you? There you go. Ava, release the wild. Uh, 78 credits, guys. Whatever. Okay, cool. Um, <coughs> I guess we fixed most of it. Um, also, if I'm cuffing, I can't. I'm, I said I don't do any cuts, but that also means I may actually be cut, uh, cuffing here and there. Um, okay, cool. So, as I promised, actually, we, we can have some meadows in between. Doesn't even need to be like, uh, you know, it doesn't even need to be too much, but we can have some, some meadows in between with some trees. And also, do I have them? These, I use them around this side. Okay, well, I want to have those two somewhere over here still as like blueprints. Blah, blah, blah. Just keep them. And then we're going to just do this a little over here. Nothing crazy, to be honest. Uh, just a bit of, you know, a bit of nice stuff like so. A bit of dirt, grass long in between so that it just kind of blends in nicely if you look at it. There you go. We can also have that one go a little bit further over here too so it blends in a bit nicer. Oops. There you go. Just a little bit, you know. Nothing crazy. Just like so. I think this is sweet. This is good. And then we're going to put like another ash tree here. 
And there was something smaller. Okay, well, you got me. You're too big. You're smaller. Smaller ash tree. There you go. That's fine. That's fine by me. And then we're going to put the whole thing here. This is going to be the plaza. It's going to be look good. Um, but this time around, it's going to be a bit more of a uh, straightforward build. I have something in mind, and I do hope that it's working out. Uh, you potentially have seen that already from the thumbnail. I haven't, so uh, hold on tight. I really hope that this is going to work. So three. Is that three? Should be fine. <coughs> I'm not sure if three is fine or if we need to go with... Let's go four half-ish. This, this should be good. This should be good. That should be working. Okay. Mm. I'm not sure if that's enough space, but we, we will test that. Actually, I do need to uh, mute my microphone qu uh, quickly to just drink something and cough. Wow, most unprofessional uh, ever, but uh, <laughs> it's gonna be the way it is. You have to survive through that. Uh, oh gosh, this cup, it's like for three weeks straight now. And I, you know, I didn't record for two and a half weeks. And now just before ho uh, holidays, I wanted to do something more. Yeah, it's, it's actually horrific uh, how much of a pain it is to do videos with coughing like this. But uh, there is no way around this. I want to, I need to. And uh, that's the way it is. Okay, that's just the way it is, baby. Now, what we got to do is with... Also... It's, it's, yeah. Okay, can I, can I just... This is so weird. Um, so that should be... I mean, it has to go to 14. Can I, can I... Not have that on 14. There you go. You can have it on 14. Uh, I was a bit confused to why it wasn't. But okay, 14 is fine. Um, and then we go obviously to minus. And height shall only be 4 meters. That is, that's that. I mean, then we can be safe that it's deep enough. Okay, so that is this. And then I'm just going to go all the way over here. This. That is, that is exactly what we need. Fine. This is like the little pit in which I'm I'm going to build. And now this is also why I made it this way. Um, that we do have like a concrete. And this time around, I want the concrete to be actually in this this kind of yellowish -ish vibe. Kind of, eh, that's kind of exactly what I wanted to. So let's see. Uh, I do hope that we don't need to ge go even that deep with water, but uh, we'll see. Now, let's actually yep, go to two meters. There you go. I'm building now, and potentially this is way too small, but we, we will be seeing if that's going to be enough or not. So, sweet. What we got to do now, and this is going to create a little bit of a difference, but it's fine. Um, we're going to create the entrance to the gate now, which is going to be sitting right over here to the edge. There. Okay, I'm kind of worried to why there is no... There's no terrain created. That is so wild. Okay, this is a little bit interesting to why there is no terrain, because usually, usually there should be terrain, but I mean, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with the fact there is none, but um, yeah, let's let's still do this. Oh, I can't even now. Okay, well, that, this this is stupid. Okay, whenever I'm muting, I just need to cough like a crazy madman. Um, so in case you're wondering, <laughs> so um, okay, fine. If that's not the problem. Then we can actually work our way around this with a actual platform, which might make our life a little bit more easy anyways. So I'm going to go with concrete here for the moment being. I think that should be fine if we just put a concrete floor here. A little bit smaller should be fine. There is that. 
So if, if they're throwing them on here, that is good. And I'm just gonna give like the little penguins a tiny bit of land. So it's not really, it's not really that much of land. So we're going to play a little with it. And there shall be like a little island in the middle uh, from rocks. That is good. So we're going to straight go and do some rock work in here. Because that is exactly what I wanted to have for them. I have no idea how much space they want and need. But they shall be able to dive below there to hopefully get some more space in for them. Um, so this is going to be the biggest piece, just as a centerpiece, uh, which I want to have. The only question I haven't solved is what we do with the shelter. Because they will potentially need some shelter and seek for that. Uh, so let's see if we can fix this uh, while building. So I'm just going to drop these rocks in here. Because that is definitely going to be the uh, island for them. Speaking of, I'm going to also put them like a little island here. I think that should also be fine if they can climb on there. I haven't even tested if uh, if water goes to... Oh, yeah, okay, but it, this is... I mean, it, it's not really an issue because I will make like a, a fence around here. I just wanted to see if the water level goes that high. We, we need to go... We need to keep it that high anyway. So we have exactly half a meter off. That's perfect. I um, just wanted to know that real quick. But it's it's actually really good. Uh, this is this is perfect. I thought, you know, maybe we have an issue with the height of the water, but we don't. So I am very happy that this works. You'll see how that works out in a second. So don't you worry if you're confused what this camel is talking about. So let's move these things into place too. Um, something like so is cool. And then we can also make something fancy looking, a bit more fancy looking here. And maybe we can also give them like a little cave. Why not? Why not give them a cave? We can we can actually use this thing over here and then we're gonna use a bit of a backdrop. We could, this might actually be a little bit too thick, but um, let's move that down. So that is fine. And then I wanna use this piece or maybe a bigger one. Is that, that's too big. Let's see which, is the best piece for that these thicker ones i'm not really the biggest fan of so maybe hmm i'm gonna make like a i'm gonna make like a little bit of a mixture between certain pieces so let's use this one and then i'm gonna switch over to that one and then we're gonna have the bigger one just aligned so there you go, and then we need this smaller bit here. Or maybe we can actually use a bit of a bigger one, why not? And make that go in to the space. It's like a little shelter, you know, it's not too crazy because it should actually be all in the middle of the in the middle of the plaza. It's gonna be looking weird. Very weird space. Uh, but maybe if that all is water below there anyways, we could give them also like a little island in the corner here. That shall also look kind of fun. So there's like a little island for them to give some land space for them to to enjoy. And then what we also need to do is I'm not sure if like this is this is four meters, isn't it? We could let's quickly do type in two meters and then go for a two meter piece. The Arctic wood panel is fine. Um, so just that I know this is two meters of depth that should be should be all good and now let's go to tile maybe let's type in tile um, and I want to have uh, they are relatively yeah these these are the ones I wanted to go for they look kind of fancy as in a very normal tile floor let's bring them all the way down and yeah we can actually change the color later I, I will just make that one building and then we're gonna change the, the, the tile color later. That is, that is about right. So let's just copy those things over real quick. Whoops. Just gonna do this as this is going to be the floor. The floor is not lava this time around. The floor is actually tiled. So let's just assume that this is that. Fine. And let's do this again. Kind of like the Planet Zoo music so much. Such calming, relaxing music. 
So let's get rid of those. A little bit too many. Okay, so that's fine. We can get rid of this again. Sweet. I quite like how this turned out so far. And what we're going to do with this bit over here is, first of all, let's change that into that. And then we need to basically go with the glass panel. And all we need to do over here is we need to just bring this very to these corners over here. And what we can also do is we can get a little piece in the middle and make that go here. So it's looking a bit nicer. And then all I got to do is to just drag it from edge to edge. So, uh, eh, it's not really doing its job. It's just because of the... Let's see if I can move it ever so much slightly in here. Yeah, there you go. Managed to do that. And then let's go all the way over here. Sweet. And then we're going to bring the same thing over to the other side. Yeah, oh, it's kind of like moving against the magnet. That is so crazy. Um, because like, you know, there's the there's the edge and once you go down to the edge, there you go, it just snaps down. Ah, oh, it's really like with the magnet. That feels so odd. Um, okay, but we've done this and, oops, also, can I just, there you go. Uh, I'm gonna change these into these wooden pieces because that looks ugly AF otherwise. So that looks nice. Um, I'm just wondering if we can already put water in. Okay, that's still not working. That's not too much of an issue. I'm gonna just bring the whole thing up and then that should work. Maybe this is the issue over here. Not quite sure, maybe that is the issue. Yeah, well that, that certainly is the issue. Um, so I gotta have to fix this otherwise. We do have to bring in land, um, but this is not really too much of a problem as of now. We're gonna, oops, we're gonna get rid of the gate only. And I think now we should be able to put... Okay, we are still not... Wh why are we still not able to put water in? Um, okay, maybe then we need to just first of all uh, change this to this one and then bring all these things down. And hopefully now this is gonna help us bring the... Still not! Why? Okay, um... I'm, I'm trying to still figure out why this is not working. And I'm gonna bring this into this situation now. And let's see if we can bring water in now. Okay, now it works. See, this is, this is exactly what I wanted. Also the water, okay, we can move all the things down a little, but it looks fantastic. It looks exactly the way I wanted it to. Um, so the only thing we need to fix now is we need to bring uh, land in here. So this is that, and we can say, uh, not use selected, let's say auto paint. Three meters is fine. I'm going to paint this thing all the way inwards here. So this is gonna be land. The only land we have, so that is all fine. Hopefully that's enough for the gate to sit. And hopefully it's high enough for the water. Uh, definitely is something we need to <coughs> consider. So there you go. What, what is, why is this broken over here? What's the, what's the deal? I need to real quick just delete that. Okay, so there is a bit of an odd, oh, this is because of the path. Okay, never mind. Uh, let me just get rid of the path and then just do the same thing again. It could also be that we need to raise it a little, uh, but therefore I just need to first of all try to get the water in. Okay, <coughs> it's not it's not above here, right? No, it's it's still around. That's great. Okay, let's see if we can put a gate in now, because that is what we need. Oops. Uh, oh yeah, because that is uh, well. Let's just get rid of get rid of this piece here. And then we should be able to. Uh, okay, well. How do I do this? Um, let's get rid of this beam, this beam, this beam, this beam. So that is this side is cleaned off. And now we should be able to bring this thing in. And now, for whatever odd reason, the, um, uh, let's say over here, angle snap. At sometimes I really don't get why the angle snap is. There's no reason for the angle snap to be activated. Ah, uh, guys, I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna still snap that in here. Doesn't even change much. Booms, there you go. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna 
connect this with the water and I'm gonna connect this over here with the, not with the water with the with the barrier there you go and now let's raise the barrier so it's accordingly high to the others there you go there's the gate and now let's see if we can put the water in perfection <coughs> excuse me I need to drink again um, yeah so that is that mm. I like how it looks I really like how it looks. Um, I'm not sure how we will do the ground, but I'm I'm quite confident that we will make it look good. There's this gate. I think that's gonna all look good once we are done. I want to, however, change this into the other one with the top. There you go. And then in the corners, I'm gonna go with the wooden, with these wooden ones, just to make that look a little bit more nice. Ah, that is so cool. I think that looks fine. That looks super fine. They should not be able to escape, um, but it should actually look good. So let's, oh wait, let's get rid of, I only wanted to get rid of these things. Uh, the rest is, oops, ah, dang it. So they, no, why do you select everything? I just want to have these things. Okay, look, look, this is, this is sweet. Okay, so this is normal that these corners over here look a little bit weird. So. What we gotta do now is we gotta have to bring in um, concrete pieces to kind of get these corners uh, nicely aligned. I'm just gonna try to see what if I disable the height. Mm. Okay, so this is really not what I want to. I need to do this with the panel. I need to just ever so much get this height. This is exactly, come on, just ever so, there you go. This is exactly the height I wanted to go for. So let's just get these and actually we can split them from the selection because I may want to change the color of these things. So let's do that. Um, sweet. I'm just gonna rotate this now. And make it on here so that looks good to me and we can already bring the path in uh, we're almost ready to bring the path in so uh, it's super cool on this side and on this side too very very nice okay cool what I want to do now is to bring the path in so first of all what we got to do is we got to bring the connection to this path. I mean, this is this is the obvious one. It's slightly tilted, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna bring this through because that one is a little bit of an odd one. Uh, I I hope it was straight, but then yeah, the piece just didn't want to follow my lead. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna. We're gonna cough first of all. <laughs> um, I need to align this properly uh, to these edges here. Uh, what I can do though is I could also, let me just do the following. Let's go to the mud pillar. And if I'm not completely wrong, I should be able to put it here. And then uh, select the grid and go to, where's the path? There you go. Path, align to grid. And there you go, this is the good. How on earth are you not? Oh gosh, I didn't want to have you float, but it's okay. I need to just, wow, dang it. Let's align to grid. Bring it up, make it like this. Then we can delete this piece, it doesn't matter. I just want to have you go down, there you go. This is what I wanted. I just wanted to have the straight face over here. That is all I needed. That is all I needed. I mean, we've got free builds, so that is why I can just keep on doing stuff like that, uh, in case you were wondering. Mm, and this side, I don't want to go too crazy connected to this. Like a tiny, tiny bit of a gap is okay. So that is sweet. That's a little bit too close. Okay, well, it doesn't really matter too much. We have it nicely covered, so... That's okay. Um, and now, the question is, can I, can I still connect the gate? Then I can't really. So that is a bit of a, bit of a mishap. So uh, okay, sweet. Why are you not connecting? 
to my path. That makes no sense at all. Okay, may... Hello? Why are you not... This is so wild. Why is this not connecting? Normally, that should be no big deal whatsoever. Um, I mean... See, I could just... I could just bring this through here and be like, whatever. And so people and staff members wouldn't even mind, I guess. So... And you know what? This is, this is fine to me. Because then this is like the... This is the connection to the habitat, which can only the... It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at the end. It does not really matter at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the plaza together now with, uh, with the main path. And yeah, we can smooth that out over here and have like a nice little connection in between. Smooth that even further out. Yeah, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it this way just for like a little bit of a planter. And then over here we have another connection. Sweet. This is this is kind of nice. This is really kind of nice. Uh, and normally we should also be easily able to have like a little bit of a nice switch here. And then I'm gonna do this. And I'm also gonna do this. And normally it should now connect just like this. And then we could some pen uh, some benches can fit in here. That is lovely. And then we can also just, oops, oops, da -da 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 -da. smooth these things out. And we're just going to have like a little bit over here. Going to put some plants down there and then everything is nice. But now it's the moment of truth, guys. We are just going to get um, the blue little penguin. Blue. Uh, little. Little penguin. It's just called the little penguin. Um, well, I just don't want to spend that many leaf points on it. Um, but they are all not great. Look, I have to. Okay, well, we're just going to grab this one. And also, uh, yeah, well, for the sake of nothing, I'm going to get these two good ones. And then I'm going to get a couple of, a couple of for money. Money-wise is good. Look, we have we we don't even have any conservation credits left. It's so wild. Uh, I never do this, and and never like I never really uh, focused on on farming those. So yeah, let's bring them in here and have a look how that is gonna turn out. Because uh, I want to see if this is any way possible to keep this working. Uh, I have my doubts, but okay. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. I just need also. My nose, everything. This is this is really not <laughs> what it's intending to be. But, you know, that's reality. More reality on YouTube. Normalize being sick. Okay. Can we just... Oh, look at that. We almost... That was almost perfect. Eh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like a little patch. No, don't rain. I hate rain in this game. I hate it. Uh, okay, while we're waiting, we can already do something I wanted to do the whole time. Uh, so I'm not sure if I use this block or I, but by the way, are they the same size? Oops. They are not, but if I, no, they are not. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it this way. Uh, wait a sec, I'm gonna see if it works. Okay, first of all, this is good that it works, so the keeper can get in. They are sinking a little bit, can they get out? They can get out, okay. I mean, they are tiny. They are tiny whiny, okay? This is this is definitely already pretty neat. Now let's have a look. Can they get into the water? Yes, they can. That is awesome. Now let's have a look. Okay, wait then. How do they not have navigatable deep swim water? There's like so much deep... I mean, see, what we can easily do is we can easily bring this thing down further and see if that is the issue. So, that is the first thing we can do. And then we can move this thing a little to the side and see if maybe this is the reason why they cannot dive. And you know what we can also do? If they can move over there, why not give them like a bridge that goes over? Um, maybe that's a little bit too high anyways. And just make that bridge also a little bit wider. Why not? Like so. 
And then what we can also do is we can go to nature and give them these oops, steps over here. Hey, stop doing that. Uh, as like a little staircase that just goes up there and down on the other side. There we go. Just kind of recolor those things so that they fit a little nicer together. Okay, let's see if that changes anything. I mean, that should definitely be a thing. Okay, look, that is already better. Um, deep swim is nice. Navi see, navigatable area is the biggest uh, issue we obviously have. I'm not sure why they need so much space. It's a bit bonkers, but... Um, yeah, I guess we need to solve that with more of these bridges, you know? That is the, that's the only way we can solve that. Maybe bring them also up here, you know? That could also be a thing, like, to bring them like a... Um, <laughs> see, they need even more. <laughs> But they also need more hard shelter, so it can be two in one. Uh, I guess this is the way to fix it. Uh, I'm wondering why they actually need so much space, but it's okay. Um, also, this down here is something we we can do um, easily. So, like, I mean, we can we can just go in and say all the sand in the world in here. So let's do that. It doesn't even matter. We can we can just do it that way, and there you go. Everything is perfect for them. <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. Um, but yeah, let's just copy the bridge because the bridge seems to work just fine. So uh, gonna merge that into a group and give them like another bridge crossing over here too. And then maybe we can even make this bridge <laughs> cross itself once more, uh, like so. I'm not. I'm not sure if this if this works. Uh, let's see if that already worked. Okay. Well, that that already worked pretty well. Look, it gave them. It gave them already quite some more space, which which I think is good. But what we definitely need to do now is to bring them uh, into a good situation overall. Um, I think what we can do, and hopefully that's going to work, is we can keep this area over here under rocks. And then normally they should be able to dive below. Now I lower the ground and the, and the floor, so they should actually be able. And then what I'm doing is I'm just going to make them have a bit of a m bigger shelter and I think I can all right one last attempt the game just crashed uh, about 10 times on me and I finally seem to have it uh, running stable I needed to redo this whole area a couple of times actually which um, really doesn't doesn't feel quite nice, uh, so we have to just adjust the color here yet again. Um, though I must say, I finally found a solution to make this habitat look kind of good. Um, we're going to throw throw in some plants uh, at the very end, but first of all, before we go on, um, I'm just gonna do the uh, inevitable um, planter work, and then we are just putting in the one highlight of the plaza, and that is gonna be the toilet, obviously. Um, and then we are about to be done already with this build. I mean, already is kind of uh, hilarious because I planned to do just a couple of uh, minutes, like maybe an hour, and now I spent over three hours almost. I mean, you didn't see, but I had to rebuild this four times so. Uh, so never mind if I'm a little bit upset now. And yeah, I said without cuts, but I can't, you know, there's like, it was not an intentional cut, okay? So um, please, please don't hate me for that. It, it, the game and franchise mode seems to be very unstable at this point. And I feel like almost a music is, oh God. See, this is as bad as it is. The playlist is already ended for the second time. Uh, that is very, very stupid. Okay. Um, so let's just first of all use this thing. I mean, uh, this should be pretty much aligned. So it's not perfectly straight. So that is why I will kind of make this straight in a second. There you go. At least this should be straight aligned to these corners. And then that is the, that is the perfect area we are gonna go with. Like this has to be aligned perfectly with this edge because this is where I need this the most. There you go. Okay, awesome. So now if I have the upper line, that should be perfectly fine down here. Put one more in there and then we should be able to grab only those and just slightly, slightly offset that. 
awesome. So that is great. Um, and just what I said is let's just bring this one down here. Just ever so slightly there. Okay, let's now continue real quick. There you go. There you go. And then we can just bring that here. Oops. So let's bring it all the way to the... Okay, that is not even... Okay, it's bending outwards a little. So I'm just going to use the outside here. And I'm going to move this a little. Uh, so that looks a little better then. Just like so. Babidi-bidi-doo, And now we have this one. Close these ones off like this. And then let's get rid of these. And we're going to line this nicely. Cool. Okay, so this is sweet. This is a nice little alignment there. I'm going to do something else with this one. Um, let me grab... Oops. Let me grab all these. If everything is correct, I should be able to do it exactly like so. Um, but I need to just do the back side because the front is gonna be where the benches are gonna sit. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do this as like a nice little uh, planter kind of thingy on the side here. Uh, I think that's fine. And now this is the most annoying part. And uh, I guess I'm gonna do this just like so. Just like so. It can also be a bit jaggy, you know, it doesn't need to be perfect because it shall resemble this one planter from uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon uh, that has these these kind of, yeah, what is that? Is that actually a breeze? You don't even know what it is, but they, they have these kind of blocks to the side. And then these these flowers over here will be very handy. Um, I also don't like the rain. I'm just going to keep it playing for the second. Uh, hopefully that the rain is going to uh, get, we're going to get rid of the rain. Um, get the random rotation in. Just going to throw some of these bushes in here. One, two, three, go here. This is that. Let's get some others. These, these, these ones are perfect as well. They are kind of the vibe that Roller Coaster Tycoon had. And then this is too small. Let's bring these ones in here. I mean, okay, for random rotation, this is too small. But okay, this is nice. But we need more colorful plants. There's like not really that many real colorful. Um, flowers in here so that you have to always mix and match them but I like these they come they come close to to what I assume a certain uh, roller coaster tycoon planter would have looked like so I'm just gonna get this one in here is the rain gone yeah almost it's almost gone okay so look we also have these in like these long pieces sweet and then we can have some filling ones in here and I remember that there's one more plant this one is also kind of neat this is the one I wanted to go for here so that is that is sweet it's just way too big with the big one we have to do it with the small small ones it's not like typically Royal Coaster Tycoon but I like this quite a bit um, we've got these ones um, yeah why not Just bring those in and This is already like the planter I was going for I Like this I quite like this look this is this is already shaping up nicely um, Let's save for a second. I am so afraid I now need to save in franchise mode too. This is so whack uh, But okay, well, we'll we're gonna get through here now. Let's uh, check where our little fellas are. There's one standing up here They're doing good. Can I actually escape? This is the a uh, traversable area for the animal. Oh, look at that. That is that is fantastic. Um, not sure why this one is not accessible, to be honest, but okay. Um, as they are doing great, I'm I'm just happy, but... And this is the moment environment. Look, they can have some coverage, so let's do these things. And get some of these wonderful... That one is awesome. I love having this one in, because we can s just sneak that in here. And it immediately makes the whole thing look so much better. I want to have one in the corner too. These cabbage trees are ridiculously nice. Okay, they make, they make the whole thing look 10 times better immediately. So I'm just going to have two here. Okay, it's almost it already. 
<laughs> but okay, we don't even need that much. I mean, these ones are enormous too. And if I put this in, everything is, yeah, I thought so. They're too big. But uh, is there something smaller, like a little fern we can put into the edge? Is there like a little bigger one? If we have that go to the edge here. Sweet. That works. And then I just need to, yeah, the, nah, that's not the... I just want to have some ground stuff, you know, that we can throw in as like a little ground shrubbery. There you go. This is the coastal pick stuffy. This is the one I like. Ooh, but this is... Ah, okay. This is ugly. Ugly, ugly heavy. <laughs> um, yeah, where do we put this then to just avoid maybe here? That's already too much. Okay, well, just get rid of the big one here. Hey, 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 hey. I can't select it. Why? Ah, you know what? Then just let's leave this one. I don't care. Okay, well, then it is that. The only thing is we could just use some decals. But it already looks quite some, uh, a lot better. So that is this. And now, last but not least for today's build, uh, we are going to have a wonderful uh, toilet. Because this is the hero build of the day so just gonna put the whole wonderful toilet here and the only chance i have to make it look a little bit oh god yeah i mean the problem we have is as always the same that these buildings are way too big so gonna do the same with uh plaster now and uh, no we have to do it with the actual wall yeah i'm just gonna go a little bit wider and Technically, ah, God, guys, the problem I have is that these things, like four meters, is way too tall. If I do this now with the um, with the roof design, I want to do. First of all, let's bring that one in. Um, and the roof we are gonna go with is, and it's gonna property flexi color, and we are going to go with this slate roof over here. And I could use this one and that one is almost the exact one i want to but this is not flat enough so realistically i would need to go with this one and we would need to make it that you know what we are going to do this we are going to make it wider and in that way hopefully make this look a lot tall uh, a lot less tall so maybe using a little trick here so let's do it that way and then we are going to bring okay well let's just delete these and bring them to the outside here this is perfectly fine there you go and the other one goes in here let's get rid of those um it's gonna look a little bit weird at first but i i think this is the best way to go this is the best way to go. Yeah, that, that's going to make this building look the most like it should look. Okay, so this is this. We can already put a big door in the center, which goes a little bit like... Well, random rotation still activated. Yeah, okay. So that is the... That's the toilet gate. Or maybe it's that one. Uh, shall we a brown door, though? And maybe go with this one. That's a, that's a classic. Or this one? Now, nah, let's go with the classic. That is good. We're going to use some of the classic anyways. Um, and then we need to go to the walls back, to the plaster walls. Type in plaster. Going to use these. Going to use these in here. Oh my god, why are you even doing this? So, let's just do this. And then bring this to the back. There we go. And we also need this roof to be overlapping one no worries gonna get rid of the uh, oops what did i even what did i even select here so six pieces awesome and now we need to make it very red like very red this is this is the this is the red we're gonna go for a couple of red tints to it maybe a tiny bit more orangey and then Oh wait, this one, this is the painted wood color, that is, that is white. Okay, cool. So let's, let's now get the whole roof and split that from the group and just move that. This fraction 
up and back. And now we can use these to split them from the group, up and down, just like that. Okay, okay. It's it's not tall enough uh, to look like the toilet building from Roller Coaster Tycoon, but I need to do it a little bit differently. Otherwise, this is just not gonna work, okay? Um, we can also just do the following and go to this because we need to make this a lot more bright. There you go, that's the color. Okay, and now what we need to do is we're gonna go and type in, uh, is, is it plaster? I'm not sure if that's plaster, I think it's not. Um, it's definitely not plaster, it is the other stuff I need. Um, let me check, this is that one over here. Classic door canopy, this one is that one. That, that's the one I wanted to have. Uh, what is base game classic? Stone, it's just stone, okay. Well. Let's do one, two, three. Gosh, that works a lot better than I was thinking it was. And it has no, oh my gosh. How on earth did I not do the angle snap? There you go. One, two, and three. Awesome. Okay, I like this a lot. And now we need to type in sign. And we need a small sign that goes to the side. And it, it is actually a, a green one like so. But they, you know what, we can actually do it that way. That is, that's already what we need. We can do it exactly this way. And just force and back. One and two. And just copy this to the other side. And I move this forward. Obviously the gizmo is a little bit wonky. Um... Yeah, we gotta move this a little bit closer. There you go. This is usually like, you know, where there's like a male and female on them. And we can just say male. And the text color is white. Obviously, that was the one. Uh, okay, excuse me, is that because it's... Hello? Uh, wait, no. Male. Ah, there you go. Male. It doesn't even matter, like, we can female and just do it that way, because honestly, that is exactly, like, you can't figure out what exactly that is with the um, Rollercoaster Tycoon one, because it's too pixelated, but I think it looks fine. And what I need to type in, I think, bell, because there is something golden above the center. Um, okay, well it's, it's definitely the smaller one. Uh, and I'm gonna go with the bill, bell, because this one looks... Whoops, why... Why is the angle snap not turned on? There you go. I'm gonna put the bell on here, just because I feel like this kind of resembles it. I don't know, but I like it. This is this is the toilet, the classic roller coaster tycoon toilet. Not sure why I wanted to do it so badly, but here we go. Okay, let's um, finish this up because um, in the original picture of this thing, um, there are a couple of other things around and I want to make this. So um, first things first, let's get rid of all the filters. Oops, reset all filters. And then first of all, I'm gonna type in birch because that is a tree that is standing next to it, it is a proper birch tree. So I'm gonna put this one here, another one there. Another one here, just to give a bit of context to the build. Um, and then there is, uh, yeah, I need to see. Uh, um, I forgot how that one is called, but I will potentially, first of all, put like a beech tree in the back. Mm, but that's not a tree I wanted. This is the one, the blackthorn bush, uh, potentially is coming closest to what this is looking like in the background of this image. So that is this one. And then we need a spruce tree but we only need the very top of it because there are like a lot of small spruce trees like this and I need to have the angle snap, uh, the re random, angle snap, random rotation activated because there's like a little hatch almost around. This looks a little bit like this um, and so I'm doing this exactly this way. It's kind of cool to have it uh, random rotation. You can see that because of this uh, top level of the tree is also jumping a little from the left to right. Uh, it just kind of looks kind of cool to put the hedge down this way. But um, I really like this. I really, really like this. Let's put down a couple of last facility builds and then we are done, guys. 
And I am happy that I got this done because uh, in the middle of the build, because of all the crashes, I really thought that's not going to work out at all. But we made it and I'm very, very positively surprised uh, with how it turned out at the end of the day. Um, this one is not going to be this color. A red bench. No, we can still make it brownish. There you go. And we're going to, yeah, bring this in here. Just put them all in this area. That's fine. You know, don't need to completely line this. And then what we could do uh, is go into these things and then just grab that and connect this a little bit nicer here. You know, get another tree in and get another birch tree over here. So that is that. And we're done. I mean, this is, this is not the biggest of all buildings I've ever done. Not the nicest, maybe, but it, it, it's looking good, isn't it? So... Uh, let's first of all save and then uh, have a look at what we did in this weird episode today But I'm very happy that I brought it to an end. So uh, It's very worth having a little look here. So let's do that and go into the Explorer mode <laughs> There we are. Ah, oh, look at that What okay? Look, this is so cool as an adult you can just easily watch over and have a look what these little fellas are doing And if you're a kid you still have a wonderful view ah oh, so cool look it's working down here i mean there's barely any support which is super unrealistic but um for the moment i don't care look and there's the toilet it's just kind of it's so simple but it looks good i like it this is like hello boom i'm gonna go to the toilet cool look and all these wow they're dancing dancing trees oh look at that this looks beautiful this little field yeah, and next day, bang. <laughs> bang on next day. Look, okay, cool. Guys, I am very happy with how this turned out. Now you finally got something you've been asking for for so long. Uh, finally an episode in which I'm not, well, I, there is a cut in here, but that was obviously not intentional. So uh, sorry for that. Um, but this is how we built. This is what you can get done within an hour or so. So um, hopefully you enjoyed and I talk to you in the next one. And don't forget to subscribe if you like the stuff and uh, let me know in the comments what else we could do from the original wonderful, um, yeah, dr uh, dr my God, uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon, my brain, it's it's fizzly, okay? Um, let me know in the comments down below what else we could do. Just as a reminder, before we end, we have the toilet, we've got this weird building over here, uh, but this focuses on the maze. We've got the slide, we've got obviously the original entrance, we've got the original swan ride, uh, we still need to do the actual swan ride. We have the original information kiosk, which I'm still a big fan of. Um, so yeah, let me know what else we should do, because that is what we've uh, already as like original little um, secret decorative items. So thank you so much for watching, hope you tune in for the next one and have a good time. Goodbye!